Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I am the guy who picked Igor Zinoviev to defeat Frank Shamrock. And I'm here to talk about the main event, Marvin Vittori versus Jared Cannonier. I think this fight is going to be awesome. You know, uh, I don't envision it having too many big moments, but I think it's going to be a very competitive fight that goes the distance. I say that mainly because Marvin Vittori's in the fight, and he's a fucking tank, never been finished. He's got six losses, and he's been in there with the best of the division, as has Cannonier, really. And he's never been finished. And even though he's got plenty of finishes in his MMA career... In the UFC, it's only a small handful. He is mainly relegated to being a point fighter. And he is a very good point fighter. He throws a lot of volume. A lot of volume. And I think he's definitely going to win the volume battle in this fight. Of course, Sean Strickland won the volume battle against Jared Cannonier in Jared's last fight. And Jared won the decision. And he won the decision because... His age is not an issue. He's 39 years old. You know, that should be something, but I can't say it's anything because he just went five rounds with the best point fighter in the division, or maybe one of them, Sean Strickland, and he was very much in the realm of winning that decision because he was throwing hard strikes down low and up high for five rounds. Uh, I I thought Sean Strickland won the decision, but still, I couldn't argue with with the fact that Jared got the nod. He looked very good. I didn't. I expected him to fade down the stretch, and he didn't. And that bodes well for his fight here against Vittori, because Vittori's a very similar uh, fighter to Strickland. Not exactly identical, though. The thing I expect to give Vittori an advantage here is overall physicality, but for that to really show itself on the ground. I don't think Vittori's going to score too many takedowns, but I do envision him scoring takedowns. And when he gets Cannonier down, I envision a little bit of control from Marvin Vittori. You know, he's uh, definitely the better jujitsu guy, and I think he's just, uh, he's got that, he's o- the overall better grappler than Jared Cannonier, and I expect him to dominate Cannonier on the ground. Not go right through him, but hold him down and try to pass his guard. And, in general, control him. I don't think he's going to finish Jared. Jared's never been submitted. And Jared's no, you know, uh, slouch on the ground at all. But he's definitely outgunned, uh, you know, in a pure grappling sense against Marvin Vittori. On the feet, I think it's a very close fight. I think Vittori will have the advantage. He is a tank himself, but he doesn't throw... He's not the most powerful striker. I don't think he's in the realm of knocking Jared out. Jared's only been knocked out twice. Dominic Reyes and Sean Jordan, UFC light heavyweight, UFC heavyweight, gigantic guys. Marvin Vittori, he uh, he just isn't a knockout artist at the middleweight level here. So unless Jared turned a corner and he's fallen apart, which is possible, of course, he is 39, but unless that happened recently and he's fallen apart and we just don't know it, I don't think he's going to go down in this fight. And if he wins... Even though he is one of the more dangerous middleweights on the planet, I don't think he's going to knock Marvin Vittori out. I don't pick anybody to beat uh, to finish Marvin Vittori. Anybody. Alex Pajeda, I wouldn't pick to beat him. I might pick Vittori to beat Pajeda, to be honest. I would. But either way, uh, or I would have, you know, if they, they were at middleweight. But uh, Vittori, he's uh, my pick here. I'm going with Marvin Vittori. I think it will look similar to the Strickland fight, but there'll be a little more gr- uh, ground action. And I think even on the feet, if there was no takedown scored, Vittori's very much in the realm of winning a decision here because Jared Cannonier has low output, Vittori has high output. On that alone, he's very much in the realm of winning. But it depends on how the fight plays out. And of course, Cannonier is the guy that I think would get the much bigger moments throughout this fight. They're going to go to Jared because uh, he just throws much harder. Vittori, he can't let Jared take over this fight with leg kicks. I think uh, that could end up dictating the whole striking. He's got to figure that out early on, either with good range, which I love Vittori's, you know, good at circling out or whatever, or crashing into him. And uh, that seems like more Vittori. But either way, Vittori's never gone down. Uh, leg kicks might actually be the solution to getting him out of there. That, that'd be interesting. But I'm not picking that. I'm picking Vittori to win a decision here. Like, share, subscribe. Oh, yeah, the bets. You can get uh, Vittori by decision at plus 150. 
I do think that's definitely his primary path to victory, but I just played his money line at minus 115. Like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit. Check out my other videos.